An Auburn museum is hoping history can save its future. The National Military History Center held an auction today and auctioned off nearly 200 items in effort to make ends meet. News Channel 15's Randy Spieth has more tonight from Studio 15. Yeah, Liz, so the museum is trying to reduce its debt on its mortgage and make room to display war artifacts from every American-involved war. Today, hundreds of people from across the globe were trying to grab a piece of history. One by one, items were auctioned off. It began with the hundred military uniforms and equipment. I know a lot of the people are, are really motivated by the history aspect. And I know that there's a, a lot of people are interested in reenacting. Bidders came from all across the U.S., even traveling from overseas. We have people from the Ukraine, um, Ireland, Australia, Germany. They were there for the main attractions, the 80 military vehicles in the auction. In this collection, there's a great number of interesting uh, German and um, Axis vehicles, but uh, and there's a tremendous interest in that. Well, I actually enjoy driving mine. I like my driving mine into uh, the little local uh, cafe. The museum will be able to quickly replace items that were auctioned off today. In fact, it has storage units filled with military artifacts and items that are ready to go on display. We actually have four very large storage rooms that are full of artifacts and memorabilia that unfortunately are not able to be displayed because we don't have the room. While the auction gives people an opportunity to grab a piece of history, it's mixed emotions for the museum, which has to sell the items to eliminate debt and keep its doors open. If you eliminate that, that opens up a lot of extra free dollars to be able to do the things that you really want to do. The museum was not sure how much money it could raise today, but the auctioneers tell us the top selling vehicles and motorcycles were going for close to double their pre-sale estimates. The total dollar raise today should be released sometime next week. From Studio 15 tonight, Randy Spieth, News Channel 15.